When I was about seven or eight years old, my sister died when I was almost nine, so this was before she died. And we lived in a trailer park. And the trailer park had three roads that went down. And then there was like a little, it, it was like a U-turn with a line in the middle of it. And in the trailer parks, all the trailers were kind of lined up like this. You know, this would be, this would be like the highway, and then they would be kind of lined up like this when you go down the road. If you've ever seen a trailer park, you know what I'm talking about. And we lived the second house to the main road. And my friend lived down at the bottom. And I was down at her house uh, playing Nintendo. The old-fashioned Nintendo. And her dad came in and said that her and her sister had to go to some school recital uh, to sing. You know, some event that was coming up. And he told me that he had called my mom to tell her that I was on my way home. And that for the first time in my life I had to walk home instead of having somebody drop me there. Which, you know, it's not that much of a big difference, but I just remember going, I just remember going, wow, that is like freedom. You know. And I said, okay, well, it's daytime. You know, it's daytime, it's in a safe neighborhood. We're five trailers apart from each other. It's not that long. Uh, it's not that long of a walk. It's, um... It was basically nothing more than, like, separation anxiety at the most. Would have been my number one fear. So I said, okay. So I kind of stick around till they all leave. They all getting... They all, you know, got to get dressed and all that. So I start. Because I figure... I'll be safe because I'll walk down this street, this road, unpaved road, and at some point they would drive by and, you know, kind of make me feel safer. And I walk down, I walk about two houses up from where they live, and I started hearing this loud music. Like, really loud, sort of, metal music. Like, your basic, heavy metal music. And it was coming from this one trailer. And as I walked by, I kept hearing dogs barking. Which, you know, wasn't anything really new to me. I just remember kind of looking at it. And I was on the other side of the street going, well... You know, uh, that's some loud radio. And, and I just remember kind of looking at it going, you know, maybe then people need to turn down the radio. And as I pass this trailer, the front door opens. And this person comes out. And it's not, it's not even a person. It sort of, to my best way to put it, it sort of looked like a Yeti. I mean, it was completely covered with, like, white hair. And it had, like, a brown belly. A, uh, not, well, it was more like amber. Sort of a brownish-orange belly. And it had this really messed up face. It was human lot, but it was just kind of deformed. You know, like, uh, like somebody had played Mr. Potato Head with it, with its actual face. And I remember looking at it, and still walking. And I just remember, I just remember kept saying to myself, don't trip. You know, don't trip, because always in horror movies, people would trip and fall. 
So I'm just kind of walking by looking at it. And I thought to myself, okay, if it takes one step. Because you know trailers got those steps up there. I said, if it takes one step, I'm running. And back then, as as a kid, I had, my asthma was a lot worse. You know, I couldn't run without breaking out in some form of uh, an asthma attack. So I would see this individual, and he would take one step forward, and I took off running. And I didn't worry about asthma attack. I just worried that it would catch me. And I didn't even look back or nothing. I just went straight ahead. And I got to um, I got to my house. And there were these tall hedge bushes that were right there, sort of separating our trailer from the neighbors. And I got to the trailer and uh, the tr the hedges, and I turned around. And I couldn't see it, but I heard like the strangest shrill, so like, sort of like a deranged Wookie. You know, it was that sort of sound. Well, don't sound like that, but you know how Wookies talk. And I just remember like a sudden adrenaline rush. And I ran into my into the trailer, and I went and just made a dodge. I just dodged right underneath the uh, kitchen table, hyperventilating. And my folks had to take me to the hospital. Uh, later on that night, because I could not come down. They thought I was just, that I just maybe, because I was away from them, that I just kind of ran to the trailer. But I could not come down. I ended up, you know, going to the emergency room for, uh, like a slight, a slight asthma attack. I couldn't just come down. It was more like a panic attack, actually. And, f you know, from that day on, I... I still do not know what that was. I mean, it didn't look fake or nothing. It didn't look like somebody was in an actual costume. It literally looked like a human that was carried, uh, carried that was covered in white, like ape fur, with a disfigured face and a gold brownish looking belly region so you know I don't know what that was um, that did kind of scare me I refused to walk outside by myself I always had friends with me or my mom and grandma watch me I could not like go anywhere because I knew that thing would be after me. So anyway, anybody else have any sort of weird sort of maybe paranormal or creepy story from their childhood? Let me know.